Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt Kiteboarding. Today I'm gonna to talk with you about my recent favorite leash, the Kiyohi Invis Leash. This comes in a few different varieties and I'll talk with you today about what I'm loving about this leash, how I'm using it, and why you might like it as well. What we have here is the carabiner variety. So that's got the carabiner on the end, pretty self-explanatory. We also have it with the Velcro, which is like a rail saver, like on your surfboard. And that would be like this, basically without the, uh, without the carabiner here. And that just uses the, the Velcro laps to connect to your leash line on your board or to the back of your harness. I tend to prefer the carabiner because I'm clipping it onto my harness uh, and just makes it really easy to attach, put back on, and whether it's a loop or a pigtail or a, a leash line or whatever it is. Um, coming down the leash, we have a tight coil here. It's a fairly loose, mellow coil. So when this stretches out and comes back, it comes back rather slow. It's not gonna slingshot that board back at you. And then being so short, and up near the harness, it really doesn't tangle or get caught on anything, it's out of the way. Uh, so that's really nice. The last part of the leash here, after the swivel of course, we've got the Amsteel line. So this might look familiar to you from wing foiling leashes or from kiteboarding depower leashes. This stuff is really tough and strong. It's also really light and low drag. So if this is dragging through the water or through the air, it's not creating a lot of uh, drag or a lot of motion that you're feeling. It just makes it just kind of invisible, so to speak, uh, hence the name. And it does have some bungee in it as well. The bungee on this one is a little bit tighter. So when it stretches out, it's reducing that shock. So if you fall hard or you, your board gets caught in the waves, it gets yanked. It really cushions that kind of like a shock absorber. So it's not ugh, yanking you around. Uh, or not yanking hard on your wing or on your board, excuse me. Um, and then so that it's like that two stage. So like you've got your spring and your strut, uh, so to speak in a leash and that makes it really, really comfortable. Uh, this one is about five feet long unstretched. As you can tell here, when you stretch it out, it stretches out to almost eight feet. So it's got a really wide usable range, which is nice. Foiling, a lot of times you don't want a real long leash dragging in the water, but you also don't want a leash that's gonna snap back or keep your board too close to your body as you're falling. So this is a really nice solution to that. In addition, it has a loop connection on the end here. So you can use this in a few different ways. You can either just feed it right through your leash cup and then double it back like a slip knot. Or what I like to do, since a lot of times I'm carrying multiple boards and I like to leave my leash with my harness, is I will go ahead and put a pigtail loop on my board with a, a stopper ball or a knot on it. And then that way I can just make a slip knot, slip it over and I'm ready to ride if I wanna take it off onto the next board. Don't even need to take my leash or my harness off. So it's really easy to swap through multiple boards that way uh, without having to buy a bunch of different leashes for each board independently. So that works really well. Uh, so you heard me mention we have the carabiner, we have the rail saver type. We also have a cuff type where you can connect that to your calf or your ankle. Uh, so if you're surfing, downwinding, you don't have a harness on, you don't have a waist belt that you're using, that will get that connection away from your waist if that's how you prefer it. I tend to prefer a harness. I'm riding with a harness anyway. It's really easy to connect this to my harness and that way it's up and out of the water when I'm kneeling, when I'm standing, uh, it's not getting tangled in my legs or stepped on, anything like that. So uh, this one's definitely been the most popular for us so far with the carabiner connection or the rail saver connection um, and, and really does the trick well. I mean, a leash is such a basic thing, but you want a leash that works well and you're not thinking about it. It's kind of the goal, it's reliable. And this has done all of that in really a very lightweight and sleek package uh, with some benefits. And the other thing I like finally about this is that I can carry one leash for all of my boards. So that doesn't mean, matter if it's an eight foot downwind board or a four foot prone board. Um, this leash works for all of them. A lot of times I'll just leave it how it is. It's quite short, so it stays out of the way. But if you do want to shorten it, you can tie a knot in it on the Amsteel part of the line here. Um, and bam, 
Now you got a shorter leash, you got a little grab section if you want to use that for anything. And then just unknot that if you want it to be long again. So makes it really easy to adjust the length. Uh, I have also used this as a leash for my wing. Uh, so up to the sail, to the wing. And it works well for that as well. Um, but it's a little bit overkill with the coil and everything with the leash, so it works, but um, really probably better with just a basic Amsteel line for that purpose uh, on the wing. This has been Tucker with MattKiteboarding.com. If you all have any questions, or you'd like to buy one of these, contact us at the shop or jump on our website. You can also put a comment in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you if you've ridden one of these, what you think, what you liked about it, maybe what you didn't like, and uh, get a discussion started there. So we'll see you next time.